In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You are welcome to the month of August. Amen. If you are clapping, you clap better. You are welcome to the month of August. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. This month we favor you. Amen. This month we bless you. Amen. This month we favor you. Amen. This month we bless you. Amen. Whatsoever that you are believing God for, that you have been praying since January, I pray for you this very month. It shall come to pass. I receive them. This very month it shall come to pass. I receive them. This very month it shall come to pass. I receive them. If you it, let me hear your email like thunder. Yeah, amen. Help me visit somebody and tell the person congratulations. Open your mouth and tell somebody congratulations. Holy Ghost come, Holy Spirit come. Holy Ghost come, come on, time. Holy Ghost come, come on, come on. Holy Ghost come, come on. Come, come, come. Come, 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 Holy Ghost come. Come, 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 Holy Ghost come. Holy Ghost come, come on. Holy Ghost come, come on.
worship you. We give you all that glory. We thank you, you are the mighty God. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lift up the hand and just wave it. Tell him I love you. I love you. Love you, Jesus. Jesus. I love you, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. Thank you, Father. 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 Thank you, will not take my life. Amen. Did you hear that prayer? This year, you will not take my life. Amen. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Because of what is happening in this country, you pray for yourself, you pray for your loved ones, you pray for your family. This year, you will not take our life. Amen. Oh, God, that answers prayer. Oh, God, answers prayer. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. This 2022. This 2022. You will not take our life. You will not take our life. Prayer in the name of Jesus. That like thunder. Yeah, yeah. So let me hear the amen like thunder. Yeah, yeah. So let that amen sound back out like thunder. Yeah, yeah. Pick your Bible. Pick your Bible to the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16. Please stand up with your Bible. Stand up with your Bible for a few minutes. Chapter 16, 25 to 26. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang the spirits unto God. And the prisoners heard them. Let me see 26. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone turned were loose. If you know the meaning, you will shout better. Amen. I will preach him briefly. Mention that tag. God's intervention. God intervention. Sit down. God's intervention. I want to say some things that you have to note it and understand. God's intervention means a season where you have come to the end of what you know and suddenly God intervenes. God's intervention means miracle. God's intervention means miracle. When you have come to the end of your power, 
when you have gone to the end of what you know you can do with your hand with your brain and yet things are not working that is when you need God's intervention God intervene when men have failed God intervene when your helpers have refused to help you God intervene when your brothers have forsaken you God intervene when your sisters say they are no longer your sisters God intervene when people you put your mind on have failed you that is when God intervene ladies and gentlemen there are people I came to pray for in the name of both every other name I don't know your trouble and I don't know where you are coming from but I have a message for you in the name of Yeshua and Mashiach God will intervene Amen. I said God will intervene Amen. I said God will intervene Amen. I say God will intervene. I say God will intervene. I say God will intervene. He will intervene in your business. He will intervene in your marriage. He will intervene in your destiny. God will intervene in that business. He will intervene in that difficult time. I prophesy to somebody by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. I see God walking into your problem. I see God walking into your problem. Raise your hand as Oh Lord, oh Lord, it has been, it has been, Lord, it has been, it has been, it has been, Lord, Lord, it has been, it has been, it has been, Lord, Lord, it has been, it has been, it has been, Lord, it has been, it has been, it has been, Lord, Lord, 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 it has been, when you have come to the end of your strength, that is when God shows up. Can I tell you something? The reason why God has not showed up in your case is because what you know have not finished. There are some certain people also you know that you believe that with them that this will be possible. They have not failed you. That is why God has not intervened. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason why God has not intervened in some people's case is because what they know how to do, they have not finished with it. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, sir. When you when what you know have failed, that is when God interfere. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. I want to tell, tell you something. When the Bible said, where we read from, that this is Paul and Silas. The Bible said they were in the prison. They were picking up and lock up what they know had finished. But they need to go to who that owns what we know. And the Bible said, and they began to praise him and pray. As they pray, they praise him. And the Bible said, the prisoners heard their voice. And God came down from heaven for a divine intervention. There are people here. I don't know where you are coming from. I don't know your situation. But I know the Bible said in the book of Psalm 50, in verse number 15, he said, I will be with you in trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, he said, call upon me in the day of trouble. In Psalm 91 verse 15, he said, I will be with you in trouble. I came to prophesy that trouble will not kill you. I said that trouble will not kill you. Amen. I said that trouble will not kill you. Amen. I said that trouble will not kill you. Amen. Raise your hand and shout amen like thunder. Amen. Wow. You reign. You essence are your king. Shadows, shadows. You are mighty on your throne. You reign, you reign. You reign, you reign, since I am here. I do
number 12. In verse number 1, the Bible said that King Herod took James and King James. And the Bible said the Jewish were happy. There was a celebration that day. They said to him, Oh, hey, King Herod, you are able to kill James as an apostle. The Bible said because of the confidence he has that day, he lift up his hand, he stretched forth his hand, and he took Peter, and he took Peter in number 5 of Acts chapter 12. The Bible said, and the church began to pray for God's intervention. In verse 7, the Bible said, and an angel appeared in the prison, and the Bible said, he said to Peter, he said, put on your sandals, you are about to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know where they came to you, but I see intervention. I see intervention. I see God's intervention. I see God's intervention. I see God's intervention. I see God's intervention. God will settle your matter. God will deliver your children. God will deliver your brothers. God will deliver your sisters. God will deliver your family. God will deliver your house. God will deliver your husband. God will deliver your wife. God will intervene. God will intervene. Raise your hand and shout it all. Intervene. Say Lord. Intervene. Raise your hand and shout fire. Fire. Shadows, shadows, you are mighty on the throne. You reign, you reign, you reign, you we wait for God and God is not forthcoming it's because we have another way when you have another way to solve your problem God will not intervene when you have another way you have a second part of what you are looking for God will not intervene when God discover that you have another thing to do God will not answer your prayer but when you come to the end of your end can I talk to somebody here yes, when you come to the end of your end when the road is over when you cannot go any other place when it is only God that you can trust when you cannot put your trust in him breath forth the spirit of what you are looking for yes. and you said for yourself no I don't have pain again no I can't do it again yes. my brothers have failed me yes. my sisters have failed me yes. my parents have failed me yes. my friends have failed me yes. ladies and gentlemen ah. that is an invitation hey. for Jehovah yes. that is an invitation yes. for Jehovah yes. and that time that is when we enter when you said to your mother nobody will take the glory when you said to your mother Nobody will take the glory. Only he shall take the glory. Only he shall take the glory. Yes. Only God yes. will take the glory. Yes. Somebody shout, I believe you. I believe you. Please, my father.
and the drug are not working and you, you still want to buy and you continue buying and you discover you are still the same let this gentlemen leave the drug leave the drug you have come to have come to the end of what you know you have come to the end of what you know that is what's happened when you get to hospital and the host and the doctors get tired when they get tired they refer you when they refer you it means that this case is no longer medical this case is of the lord it's only god that can solve this problem it's only god that can deliver you at that time what you need is God's intervention. You will share anxiety. You are mighty on the throne. You will share to me. I just start this message today. This is part one of it. I'll be preaching it throughout this month. But listen and listen carefully. If you are here, you are bothered. You are said to yourself, where is the God that answers prayer? Why have you not answered me? Please check around you. There is something you are doing. You have not yet surrender. When you surrender to him, he will help you. His ears are not dead. His eyes are not blind. His hands are not short that he cannot reach you but the Bible said our sin is the first between we and him now let me talk to somebody here there is also an answer to you I'm about to intervene 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 raise your hand and say Lord Lord intervene Can I tell you something? Yes, sir. And some of you, you are married. You have been doing your best. You said, maybe if I cook good food, my husband will love me. Maybe if I sleep with him very well, he will love me better. You have done all you know. Then nothing happened. Ladies and gentlemen, switch. What do you do? You need God. Somebody say, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Intervene. 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 Holy Ghost. Intervene. 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 You think God is deaf? You think God is blind? You think God does not know that you account you have no money? You think He does not know that even when you came to church today, you borrowed money for transport? You think God does not know? You think God does not know that you don't have money in your pocket for, for, for offering in this service? You think God has abandoned you? No, you have not abandoned you. It is because you still have somebody in mind that you want to ask for money. That's a second thought. There is somebody you still have in mind that you are going to ask for something and the person will give you. That is why your prayers have not been answered. But when it turns to only you, only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can do what no man can do, Jehovah. Only you can say every situation at all, Jehovah. Only you can do only you what no man can do, Jehovah. You are bigger than what people say. 
Lord intervene. Lord intervene. Lord intervene. Lord intervene. Lord intervene. Lord intervene. Get tired of what you know. Get tired of what you know. What you know is not working. 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 They were in the prison. The doors were locked. But when God intervened, hey! prison opened. Nobody opened it. Chains were broken. Handcuff break. Nobody break it. It was not Mago Mago. It was power from God. <laughs> Behold, I give you power to become the sons of God. I give you power. In John chapter 1 verse 12. Give you power. As men that receive him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. Ladies and gentlemen, God is waiting for a time to intervene. Can I tell you something? If your trouble have lingered too much, don't quarrel with God. He's waiting for you to give up of what you know. What you know is too much. Can I tell you something? It does not call people that have too much brain. You are too educated. That is why your problem is very, very new. Very new. Your problem is always new. Your problem is always being renewed. Why? You are too educated. You too know. You too get sense. That is why God has not stepped inside the matter. Am I talking to somebody here? He said, call upon me. In the days of trouble, I will come. Ladies and gentlemen, let me announce to you that our God is God of trouble. If you don't know, no. It's only God of trouble that appear in the days of trouble. Am I talking to somebody here? You think he has forgotten you? He has not forgotten you. Just that you still have so many things in your hand. What you know is too much. What you know? You still know. You know what? When you have financial problem, you still know some things to do. You still know. You still know that lapo exists. That is why you have not gotten financial help. Uh, I know. I shock somebody here. Yeah. You still know. You still know that you have a friend that is in, is in lapo bank. You still know. You still know it. That you have a friend that works in the bank. That can borrow you some money. And your level will change. Ladies and gentlemen. Money where they borrow not be favor. You still know. But when these things you know. You give up from them. 
That is when you have financial favor. That is when somebody can talk to you and say, what is wrong in your life? He said, brother, I'm passing through here. He said, what is the reason? If I can just see 200,000 to start a business, just 200,000, give me your account number. He just do pong, 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 pong. He said, check your phone. He just check it. He said, one million naira. One million naira. That you have something in mind. You want to go to Lapo. Want to go to Lapo. But when you come to church, the release anointed. This is the power of favor. Let the anointing of Esther come upon somebody. Let the anointing of Jesus come upon somebody. Let the anointing that take him from the prison to the palace where God intervened in the prison. The Bible said in Genesis chapter 41, in verse 14, God intervened. They brought Joseph out from the prison. God intervened. Favor. Um, is there anything too hard? Anything too hard for God? Nothing. Jesus. You a sense of your team. You are mighty on your throne. It's too big. Obatobi. Obatobi, eh? The one that knows all the rivers in the whole world. The lion are the tribe of Judah. He's the king of peace. He's the king of war. He's the merciful father. That is the God of judgment. You don't know him. Let me tell you, I've seen him. When you decide not to see men, you will see God. Men are too much in your sight. That is why you are still where you are. The day you will say, let me step out from men. Let me step into God. That is when you know that God intervenes. He said, when you are in the water, it will not swallow you, I will be with you. He said, when you walk through the fire, it will not hurt you, I will be with you. When you are in the desert, he said, I will supply you water. When you pass through the wilderness, he said, I will stay with you. Who is this God that is too good? Yalama hakusi halama, librando haki hano kubala. Intervention is when we come to the end of what we are thinking. Suddenly, he appeared. He do the unusual, and when we look at it as men, we say this is miracle. And God will say, No, I just intervened. I know this matter before it started, but I keep quiet. Let the devil take, be messing himself around. Can I tell you something? Anytime God step in, Satan. You know what? Satan heal him and call him over to be here. The one when he comes, trouble ends. And Satan give way as they take your people. I bet me on the go. I won't do it them before. You have not switched to him. That is why you are still where you are. Am I talking to somebody here? By the time you tell your doctor this drug, I will not take it. He said, you, you will get problem. He said, I will not get problem. I've taken enough. Lord, will you kill me? Lord, will you kill me? The Bible said, life and death lies in the power of tongue. And I want to tell you, will you kill me if I did not take the drug? I've taken enough. And your worship, and you wish above every other thing. But 
might prosper. Be in good health. Even as my soul prospering. Lord, will you kill me? You reign. Patience are your king. Ado. Cover lie is because you have no surrender. <laughs> when you surrender, he will intervene. He knows that you have messed up, he knows that you have made a mistake. But you using lie to cover the lie that you have committed before. No, God will not show forth. But immediately you said, I give myself away for you. Ladies and gentlemen, immediately God will suffer and said, This son is my son. Whether he did it, he did not do it, he is still my son. Whether he does it, I don't care. All things are passed away. All things because new. He is my servant. Prophets, the spirit of the Lord. You are not an idol worshiper. You are bound to make mistakes. Don't pretend too holy. That is why you are using light to cover lie. You know who you are. You are a child of God. Our God is a merciful God. Why not open to Him and stop covering to men? Men will not forgive you. But when God touches the heart of a man, man forgets. When God touches the heart of a woman, woman forget. Not just to forgive, they forget. Why? He's a merciful God. He has the heart of every man in his hand. The heart of every king in his hand, says the Lord. Are you feeling me here? This month, you will see him. You will see him. He will intervene, you will know. Amen. Hey. He will intervene, you will know. Amen. 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 Sit down. In the house of the apostles, chapter 5. I saw it in verse 19. The Bible said that the, the, the apostles were arrested and kept in the prison. As they were in the prison, an angel came and took all of them away from the prison. My Bible said in the morning, in verse 23, in the morning, and they came to pick them and they went to tell the people that locked them up. They are no longer in the prison, but the prison door was locked. And those, the watchmen, were still there. The soldiers were still standing by the door. The people they kept in the prison are no longer there. It's only God that can do it. Let me prophesy to those they took to the governor. I prophesy to your life. Let that cousin catch fire. Let that cousin catch fire. Let that catch fire.
somebody's family in the book of Esther the Bible led me to understand Esther chapter 1 the Bible said that this Esther was, was a daughter to the uncle of Mordecai and the Bible said Mordecai took her as a daughter in other words she was there like, like a housemate living in her house in his house and the Bible said something happened in the palace and the queen left the palace and God intervened though there was nothing happening Mordecai was a gate man in the king's palace so nothing good was happening in their family ladies and gentlemen the way God intervened a queen was found in the in the in the poor man's house a queen was found in Getman's house a queen was risen in Getman's house a queen was risen in Getman's house anything good can happen and it's about to happen to you yes. hey, no. Let me prophesy. I see God intervening in your family. Amen. The poverty situation is over. Amen. I say it is over. Amen. I say it is over. Amen. Lift up your hand and shout it's over. It's over. Pray. 
Pray. Pray. Can I tell you something? I know some of you, if you're a man of God here, you will not like me. But I'm going to say something to you. Listen to me. The reason why you have not given up because you have pastors you are telling. Yeah. You know that next someday you have to sit your pastor down. I said, look at my situation. Look at my situation. Look at me. The man of God you are telling, look at my situation. He only has some limit. You know why? You that has the problem know how it's been in you. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We only sympathize with you. Will you agree with you and begin to pray with you? And we pray and it, can, it comes to pass. But can I tell you, it could have been better if you go to God with that pain. And kneel down before him in the midnight and even in the daytime. And said to him, I come with all of my heart. I am tired of what I am facing. He will listen to you than you that is putting your hope on men of God. Why am I talking like this? Is this man not a pastor? Yes. Do you not listen to people? I listen to people. But there's a better place. Because when you tell a pastor that I am having stomach ache, my sister, I don't know as if they did it bite you. Pastor, let me pray so that my landlord will come down. I do not even know how your landlord is disgracing you. Pastor, let me pray. My home have scattered. I will pray, but I don't know how your husband is tormenting you. I don't know how your wife is tormenting you. But it's only you that can go to him in prayer. Now when you stand before him, you'll be able to tell him, you can see how I feel. In prayer and supplication, he said, let your request be known unto him. Philip chapter number four, verse six. Verse six. You know, I told him. You sleep too much, you don't pray. You sleep too much, you don't pray. I did not say that you should not tell your pastor what you are passing through. No, tell me, I will join you in prayer. That does not mean you will not pray. There are some of you who have this attitude that when you are passing through pain, you don't pray. You be calling men of God. You have five men of God in your in your in your, in your, in your contact. You have prayer one man of God for headache, man of God for vision, man of God for laying of hand, man of God for my marriage. Let Ladies and gentlemen, you are deceiving yourself. Look at the author and the finisher of my faith. You think God does not talk to you? You think just get it. Get, get it done inside of you. You think God only talk to men or God? Eh? Okay, God only talk to people that are holy. It's a lie. God talk to everybody. God is God of all flesh. God talk to everybody. It's you that is deaf that you don't hear. God talk every time. God know what you are passing through. Have you ever been in prayer? And when you have grown in the prayer and your, the burden is on you, you hear, my daughter will do it. Just give me time. Amen. I've heard it many times. He says, son, I will do it. Give me time. Give me time. That does not mean you should stop praying. And give me time. Give me time. I'm working on something. Because God is the master planner. I'm working on something. I'm working on something. I know you are asking me for marriage. I'm working on something. The man that is in your life is not the man. I'm working on something. I'm working on something. I'm creating an avenue where you will meet who I am sending to you. I'm working on something. But you don't know. You are not praying. What are you doing? No. I want to go and meet a pastor man and you have to hear that I need to marry. Do you know how I married my own? Mere mama, mere mama, mere mama, mere mama, mere mama, mere mama. Holy, 
Listen to me. Pray. Prayer is not for anybody. Prayer is for everybody. Prayer is the key. It may not be all the key, but it's a key. Because that is the avenue where you can stand and say, Abba Father, hello be the name that kingdom come on earth. Daddy, do you still remember me? I'm tired of this medicine. I'm tired of this drug. Have you not heard that some people had healing inside the house? It was one year. I was not a pastor. I was not a pastor. You know this is a cold chicken pulse. You know it invaded all of my body. I was in Lagos then. I was not yet married. Then I was learning business. I was there. This thing invaded me. Only me. In the whole line of that business. Now, they, they asked me to go. I said, I could not go to school. The devil pursued me out of school. Now I want to learn market. Satan have come again. He asked me to go and I went to my, my auntie's house and she saw my body. He said, stay. She did not even look at her own children that would be affected. He said, stay. And me, I was feeling of her own children because I know how chicken pox goes. So everybody left. The children went to school. He, herself and the husband went to work. I was only the one in the house. I locked the door. I prayed that day that I cannot forget that prayer. I said, Lord, does it mean you does not exist? Why can you allow this thing to be pushing me up and down? Where is the Lord God that I serve? Ladies and gentlemen, before they return back, chicken post check out. Our problem is this. We don't want to pray. Don't want to pray. I was talking to one of my daughters yesterday. I said, go to your house. Don't speak the language people will hear. Get tired of the language people used to understand. Lord help me. Lord help me. Lord help me. Oh, my house. Lord help me. No. Switch. Kalama. Ananda. Igoda. Igodo. Pedebe. Pedebe. Ananda. Bonona. Ediano. Yabato. Kabata. Igodo. Pedeana. Yabata. The devil will come the way he used to come when he discover you are no longer who he used to be. Can I talk to somebody here? Yes. Tell somebody switch. Switch. Power. You began to pray. You don't need to listen to anybody. Help me to pray. Pastor, help me to pray. Do you know if I help you to pray? You don't know. So let me that know if I prayed for you. But if you pray for yourself, you will know you prayed. Hey! You will know you prayed. You will know you prayed. You have to pray to the dimension that when you are praying, you get lost. Have you lost in prayer? If you have not lost in prayer, you have not started praying. You have to lost. You try to stop the prayer. Prayer keep talking. Your mouth is talking, but inside your, your flesh, you have stopped the prayer. But you see that your spirit is the one in control of your flesh. The next thing you do, you switch back and continue the prayer. Rando, Kando, Sibale, Rando, Elakadan, Tusi, Shale, Braha, Equalia, Safana, Vikrando, Safa, Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, He calls, He calls, a Duria Hakamana, a Cocotinia, a Sono, a Sono, a Sono, where you pray in the Holy Ghost. You are no longer where you used to be. Switch! You are too normal. That is why no answer. Fast, Lord, never see His end. His mercies never come to an end.
Prayer. Prayer. This generation don't know how to pray again. You don't know how to pray again. How many of you that you have prayed? And the people around you here and say you pray too much. Where we read by the side and prisoners heard them. Have they heard you? Have they heard you? Prisoners heard them. Can I tell you when that miracle happened? It was not only Paul and Silas. It happened to everyone that was in the prison. Why? Two people put it on their shoulder. The Bible said they prayed to a, a dimension. They switch. They began to praise God. Why did they praise God? It's only you can do it. We switch. We have concluded. We have prayed. We know you have heard, but we are thanking you because when we appreciate you, when we give you appreciation, then it's another dimension that you are about to answer. And you have done it. And they lift up their voice in the prison. Do you know what it means to be in the prison? It means that in that situation where you are, in that sickness, you still have voice to say thank you, Jesus. How many of you, so many of us will complain when the problem is too hard? No money in the pocket. Why will I go to church? Why will I go to church? They say, Let's go to why, why? I don't have money. Why will I go to church? That is when you are in the prison, when you're supposed to prison. That is when things are not working. When you're supposed to go to God in praise. I worship you. I worship you. I believe that is the song in that night. We make a miracle work. Promise keep light in the darkness. Bring it up. Bring it up. There was no light. They were unchained. This were not working. No money in their accounts. And they were praising God. Some of you, you stop church. Why? I did not see money to make my hair. My friend Babit. My car spoiled. Your car spoiled. Who gave you the car? Who will give you another one? Eh? Who gave you the car? Who will give you another car? And you say, my car is spoiled. I cannot make it. You know, it's very far. Why not you enter bus? Three days with my father in the Lord, Apostle Professor Johnson Suleiman, in his conference in Lagos. It could have been very easy to order my boys and said, please get me my Prado. Bring me my Prado, bring me my my heroes come to Lagos. They will not say no. They will come to Lagos. So I'll be moving around with the convoy, going for the for the program. But no, you know one thing. I was entering Keke. I did not care. Because motor car is not in heaven. I was entering Keke. The other day I was in, inside the bus. And Lagos bus is not like Bini bus. That one is very dirty. Very dirty people. Dirty Lagos motor. Dirty Lagos is short. Lagos is dirty. Bini is the best. I don't know what you care. Say Bini. Lagos is not good. As far as I'm in Bini, Bini is the best. Whether I like it or yes. <laughs> You don't, need to like, you don't need to like what I like. But I tell you, Bini is the best. In my life, Bini is better than America. <laughs> you don't know. I was in London the other day. Bini is better than London. You may say, I know the structure, the beautiful place. My friend, we, there is how we act here. If, if you need a, a cab, as his pastor says, stop. He stop. He park anywhere. Park anywhere. We enter. No, no arrest. So you have not got into the train station. Which train station? My friend, we enter motor here. We be doing here. This place. This place. I help my America. 
Israel, na bini ye de. Dubai, bini. <laughs> it's you that is looking for visa. We were getting our own resident permit in Benin. We're looking for your visa. If you work out finish, you'll come meet us for here. <laughs> if we work out finish, we'll still come back here. Why? Bini. <laughs> the, best, the best place in the world. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. <laughs> God send me here. <laughs> Do you understand me? So don't put your mind that your car did not start. You are not going to church today because your car did not. You not get angry. You know some people, eh? They get angry. Say their car. Some people say you bring out clothes. As you bring out the clothes, you discover that one place open, and this is what they want. To. My friend, wear it. Let people tell you that the place open. Uh, you open now. You open now. So you don't open. You don't open with that. <laughs> I don't know whether you understand me. Yeah, that this scarf, scarf I wanted to tie, as because it's not uh, well uh, prepared, I will not go to church today. My friend, you you are not a Christian. You are not a Christian. You are not a Christian. Okay. Go and praise God. Praise God. Stop complaining. Praise God. Their situation was worse because they were beaten before they put them in the prison. They were beaten up. And you know the beating, they flogged them with the rod. You know the rod, the rod of iron. And the Bible said, after they finished beating them, they hand them over to the jailer. And jailer put them inside prison. Not the real prison, where their leg was stuck on the ground. And they changed their leg, they changed their hand. But they did not cover their mouth. A close mouth is a close person. If they did not kill you and you are still talking, you have hope. You have hope. Because a living dog is better than a dead lion. If you cannot talk to anybody, talk to God. If you don't know what to do, begin to press him. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah, yes, sir. Chineke na na meke ne Can I hear your hand? Everybody stand up It's about to intervene let me hear that hand. Let me hear that hand. How many of you need God in conversion? You need Him in your life. You need Him in your body. You need your destiny. Clap your hand. Clap your hand. Jesus. Somebody's about to be delivered.
intervene in that sickness. Amen. Check it yourself. I decree. Let that pain on that girl's breast disappear now. Amen. If you are the one, check it. I decree. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. There's a pain below your abdomen by the power of the Holy Ghost. Check it now. That strong object in your lower abdomen that you feel at times. Check it. You are here. Amen. Amen. You are here. Amen. You are here. Amen. But somebody, your left side of your hand is getting weaker and weaker. As I'm talking now, a strange strength from the Lord just enter you now. You are here in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, there's one person here. I don't understand this one that I heard. He said, I should tell you that the order they inflicted on you, that that order just disappeared. Amen. I prophesy to somebody I receive it that truth that something is blocking inside I command that thing blocking your throat go now go amen. now amen. go now amen. Amen. go now amen. Amen. there's a child that is sick the Lord says I should tell you that the child is healed the child amen. is healed the child is here. Amen. The child is here. Amen. If you are the one, check yourself. You are here. Amen. You are here. Amen. Check yourself. You are here. Amen. Check yourself. Don't go home with the with the testimony. You are here. Amen. There's somebody you can't bend down. Check yourself. I see an arrow that was shot against you, and the Lord will remove it from your body. You are here. Amen. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. There's somebody here. The Lord said to tell you. He just intervened in your account. Amen. Amen. There's one person here. So I should tell you. Before this service we close. He says you make sure you testify. He said I will put money in your account. But testify before you go. Amen. Amen. I hear miracle money. Amen. Amen. I hear miracle money. Amen. If you see it, don't go with that testimony. Don't go with that testimony. If you are here, don't go with that testimony. There's somebody here. Your dreams are very bad. The Lord says to tell you, He just clear your dreams. Amen. Amen. He just clear your dreams. Amen. Amen. You will no longer see that demon. Amen. You will see angels. 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 Amen. 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 As you are dancing now, you check yourself. If you are here, you come to this point. Where is Nelson? Stay here. Stay here. When you dance now, if you are here, you come to this point. Are you ready? God is about to change stories. He said, I will intervene just now. He said, check yourself. I will intervene just now. There's somebody I don't know. I don't know. There's a strong pain on your nipple. He said, check it now. That thing was an infection from the kingdom of darkness. He said, I should tell you, you are just healed now. Amen. Amen. Check yourself, check yourself. I come, 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 I I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not
you can't praise him and not have a miracle check yourself check yourself check yourself why is children running around here you where is your children please can i pray for you in the house where where is your husband Worry. Hmm? Worry. Worry. can i pray with you yes. Eh? Yes. your children will not lose you yeah. understand me yes. i don't know but i see somebody sick i want to pray for you did you hear me yes sir is your first time here yes sir that is your first time we invite you it's my sister in the london your yes. sister invite in london invite you uh, to come to church here yes you came from Wari? Yes, but I've been staying in Benin for the past months. I have issue with my husband. Eh? I have issue. You with have issue with your husband. Yes. Celebrate Grace. I say you should pray that your children will not lose you. Amen. If you know you are healed, check yourself and come out and give your testimony. I want to pray for you. Can we sit down for two minutes? I want to pray for you. You lost your home for something that is not normal. Something that is not something to lose home for. Yes. Now you are regretting, your husband is regretting. Can I pray with you? Yes, sir. Father, put your, your hand on your chest. Because this thing is giving you chest pain. Yes. Is it true? Yes, sir. Celebrate grace. Aka kaya Aka chiyoko nemema Olo ebeye Ha! Sa ye luari ne nemi Isi ike to Pera yege Aka Call you or you want to call him? I want you to come and pick us. You want him to come and pick you? Yes. When? On Sunday. This Sunday? Yes, on the seventh. On the seventh? Yes. Where is the God of restoration? From this family, they're full of trouble. Out from this family, you devil of quarter. I send peace to your husband. Get her from her, you devil of trouble. You spirit of anger, you power of quarter. Get her from her. Bring her here, I don't have time. Get out! Get out! Get out! The mighty name of Jesus! Get out from her! Get out from her! Let her go. The mighty name of Jesus! The mighty name of Jesus! The mighty name of Jesus! Get her from her. You can't break this marriage. You can't break this marriage. 
You have been doing it to others, but this one and her sister, I refuse. The name of Jesus, out! Celebrate grace. Papa, there's a miracle here. This brother said, for so many years, he has had a dislocation in his left hand. You have dislocation before? And he has been paining him. During the service... How, wait, how many years? Eh? Like, it has been like uh, for like seven years. Seven years? Yes, like for seven years when before I traveled... What happened to your friend? Like, I was playing ball before. Okay. So, when I, uh, I just shoot the ball out of my leg, so I fell. When I was falling down, I did not balance the hand down. So, when I fell, the bone just shoot out. That moment. So, since that day, I have not even treated it. I just left it that way. So, like, when, for like a weeks now, when I was at home, I could not even move my body. Like, it was like one side of my body was dislocated. I was at home all throughout. So, when I was like, when you... When I came to church, when you were prophesied that someone, your left hand is paining you. Who heard me that time? That your left hand is paining you. So I just grabbed that faith. I said, I must dance this dance and I will be healed. So after the song and everything, after when you, you, you round up everything, so I said, I should just move the hand. I said, we're just moving the hand. The hand was just And you, are, you can move the hand now. Yes. And there's no pain again. There's no pain again. You can't move it before like this. No. Now move it, let us see. You can are you just sitting like that? Somebody celebrate Jesus. Oh, yeah. She not getting mad. Oh, yeah. Oh, you'll be your man. Be permanent. Amen. Let it be permanent. Amen. Let it be permanent. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. What is wrong with you? Huh? What happened to you? I can't understand, though. I can't explain it. Everything will go out from you. Whatever that spoil your home, let them all of them go. Amen. Holy Spirit, finish with her. Amen. And just lose her, lose her marriage. Amen. Lose her marriage. Lose her marriage. That place they took your marriage to. That part lock. Break. Amen. Anyone here? That they took your marriage to somewhere. Fire! Somebody shall fire! Fire! To expire. Anything they are using to manipulate you. Fire. Let the charm expire. Amen. I said, let the charm expire. Amen. Anything manipulating your efforts. Fire. In your marriage. Fire. Let the charm expire. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Stand up. 
What's your name? Maybe. Maybe. Odekuma. Onye. Odekuma, maybe. Odekuma. 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 It's an honorable name. Say. It's an honorable name. It's an honorable name. You are free. Amen. You are free. Amen. There's another person calling. Eh? The name stands with E. E. Who is the person in your house? My house. Let the person that is planning to take your seat. Let the person go and never come back. Amen. Is he here? Yes, sir. Celebrate grace. Hala balagada balagada. Is today your first time here? We invite you. Huh? The um, guy, the son of the spirit. Sibel, sir? Yes, sir. He's going to invite you. Huh? Yes, sir. You say? Okay. Can I pray with you? Yes, sir. Huh? Who, who is the first son, the first daughter to your mom? Where She's is she? in Ghana. She's in Ghana. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Can I be free to talk about your family? Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. Your family is in trouble. Yes, sir. Nothing is working. Yes, sir. It's in trouble. Yes, sir. There's a giant man that used to appear to all of you. It's a spiritual being. It's a result of an, an altar that they worship before now. And it's spoiling so many things in your family. It's making you people to get too close to help. Yes, sir. And they scatter. Yes, sir. Too close to marriage. They scatter. Yes, sir. Too close that some people have one child. Yes, sir. And run away from marriage. Yes, sir. Can I pray with you? Yes, sir. From now. I change your identity. Amen. Change your identity. What is fighting you is bigger than your prayer life. Yes, sir. You're facing you're facing here. And people that see you look you look like you're okay. You are not you're not okay. Yes, sir. Number one, I will pray for your head. Number two, I will pray for your family. Let all this mess stop. Amen. I'm looking at you. I'm seeing somebody in the prison. I want to take, I want to take you people out of this mess. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I break every prison. Physically, spiritually. Amen. Amen. Let the prison doors be broken. Amen. Amen. Let your deliverance start Amen. now. Amen. Amen. Are you staying with somebody? I was staying with my sister. She drove me out from my house. So uh, I'm staying alone now. She drove you out? Yes, sir. Why did she drove you out? Because I have a boyfriend. Because you have a boyfriend, right? Yes, sir. And the boyfriend came to the house. And she was not happy with it. No, he didn't come to the house. Where did she come? Where did he come? Did, he I, see, did she see the man? Sir? Did your sister see the man? No, sir. Then why did she get angry? I don't know. Eh? I don't know, sir. You don't know? Yes, sir. What did your boyfriend bought for you? Sir? What did your boyfriend buy for you? Nothing, sir. Nothing? Okay. You just hear say you get a boyfriend? Yes, sir. She said, may you come up for us? Yes, sir. In, you know what may you marry? I don't know. Uh, my father's house. My father's house. Allow me to prosper. Yeah. 
What happened now? The man left, eh? Huh? Yes, sir. So your sister not know say you don't the good. She know. You want marry? Yes, sir. Okay. Stop crying. That place is her home. There is one problem that people did not know that I will tell all of you. See that your brother that is clapping that you are pros prospering, eh? you are progressing. You have not prospered above him very well. Once you prosper above him very well, he will not clap again. It will be against you. But you will not know. Because people don't like people beating their record. But if you are ready to beat record, don't look at what people are doing around you. But don't take food from their hand because they will kill you. I know you don't understand this one. Uh -huh. Can we continue? Yes, sir. There's something I saw too clear. Too clear. Too clear. Too clear. What concerns you in November? Sir? I want to marry Don November. Sir? Don November, I want to marry. That was what you prayed? Yes, sir. That November? I said before December. He wants to marry yes, in November. Sir. Okay, I'm coming. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is. Sister, clean your tears. The man that is coming to marry you was born on Friday. <laughs> Celebrate grace. Maybe today is your first day of coming here. My name is Apostle Dr. Emmanuel Chinemene in Joseph. Global Territorial Commander. We make decree. We wait for the answer. Sister, 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 your sister's house is very small. So get ready so that you can even accommodate your sister. Those that you beg, they will come and beg for you. Hey! I said those that you have begged, they will come looking for you to beg you. Hey! In the name of Jesus. Hey! It's done. Celebrate grace. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Congratulations. Yeah? Yes, sir. Take three steps. You put your hand on your stomach. One, two, three. Stand there. It's about your meditation. Did you hear? Yes, sir. I say it's about your menstruation. Okay, sir. Out! Hey, baby, keep on. Chukwe, baby, keep on. Nane, baby, keep on. Baby, baby, What a marvelous God, what a marvelous God, you have done marvelous things for me. Where's your children? You said it your first time? Your second time? Yes, sir. Have I met with you before? 
some months ago, I was here. I was here. Have I met with you one on one? We don't see one on one. No, sir. Ah. Where is their father? Is that true? I want to pray for somebody that is sick. Who? Huh? Yeah. Talk loud now. I want to pray for somebody that is sick that I'm seeing. You are the one that is sick. Yes, Celebrate Jesus. Don't worry, you may see an children will not cry. My children will not cry. Yeah? At times when you talk, eh, there is something that comes out of your mouth. Look at me. Don't shake your head. You talk. If I talk to you. Okay, sir. Don't shake your head. Bring it down a little. I say, at times when you talk, there is something that comes out yes, sir. from your mouth. I want to pray for you. I'll tell you why I want to pray for you. Okay, sir. In the realm of the spirit. Uh, sorry, are you the first daughter? No, sir. Where is she? The first daughter is in the village. It's in the village. Yes, sir. No verse, I won't ask questions. Okay, sir. You quarrel with your people. Yes, sir. No quarrel. Okay. You, you quarrel with them. What did happen? Now, because of money, I don't people money. Everybody believes say I be failure. Because when they do the work, when the money they call of us, they eat. We say come. Everybody believes say I be failure. This one will come. I love help you. Now you know. Uh, you, uh, now you know girls, man. Now person say, man, you're not married. Now person say, man, you many, many words. I just, this is everybody going on. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Do not talk about my city happen. You people quarreled. Except, except my auntie. When we quarreled, we say it became there and everybody went there. On top of that one, not that quarrel. Don't worry. There is a quarrel. And a finger was pointed on you. I pray for you that this thing will not kill you. Amen. Amen. Yeah? Yes, and a gate was open against you. Can I tell you something? One dream that I am seeing that looked like a pit and somebody's load was entering inside. And after that, dream. Everything about you now I've lost. Everything about you yes, sir. I've lost. Everything. A door of, of lost was open to you. Everything lost. 
then you like from square one come to try to manage your life now you are sick I want to pray for you can I pray can I pray for you yes sir your mind they come off from here you want to cry no sir huh? you want to cry no sir I should give you time to cry no sir you are crying now somebody celebrate grace listen to me Anytime God intervenes, you know that that trouble have, have just disappeared. Amen. Stop crying. There will be a phone call this evening. Help is coming to you. Amen. Amen. And as I lay hand on you, you are going to be free. Amen. Amen. Do you want to be healed just now? Yes, sir. Put your hand where you are sick. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. Jesus. 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 Get her from her. I break the curse. I break the attack. But I said to this matter. Amen. Fire! Let every chain be broken. Look at that. Let every chain be broken. Chain of death. Amen. Chain of depth. Amen. Chain of borrowing. Amen. Chain of sorrow. Amen. You demon, cry out and check out. Amen. Cry out and check out. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. Out. Amen. Get out. You demon of death. Sickness. Depth. Borrowing. I come against you now. Go. Everything will go. Put the load on your head. All of them drop. Go. Bring her here. Be. Celebrate Jesus. I know my Redeemer live it. I know. It's not far from me. And I know, I know when he is shattered. You walk on the path. Hallelujah. I know and I'm very sure. Lord, I know. It's not far from me. The world will know that my redeemer lives. I will give you the me boy. Listen to me. There's somebody around here. The Lord said I should tell you. I will come to your house this evening. Wait for me. Remember to testify on Sunday. I don't know the meaning. It's I've come to your house this evening. Amen. So I'm coming to rescue you. Amen. How are you? 
I'm fine, sir. Are you married? No, sir. God said it. I believe it. We we'll invite you. I've been coming here, but. Say? I came here. You came here? Mm. You didn't come before? Yes. You don't come? Do you have a senior brother? Sir? No, I'm the senior. Do you have a brother? Yes. First son? No, I'm the first son. No, no. Can, yes, how can you yes. be the first son? Yes. Where is he? He's in Port Harcourt. Oh, and I know when he shall arise, how are you? Who know you? Eh? Your son, eh? Say. My husband, the last born picking. Okay, last, last born picking or last the, one? The last born of the first wife. Sorry. Yeah, the, the last one. Yeah, hey, don't son. worry. Sit down. Have, let me talk to you. Have you been where they are doing charm? Don't lie. If you lie, I will not deliver you. Yes, sir. Because I see a hand on you that said you will not go far because of a certain day you were invited with somebody to where they are doing charm. I don't understand. Yes, sir. Do you understand what I'm trying to say here? Yes, sir. Not to shake your head if you know. Uh, uh, huh? Yes, yes, sir. I see charm. As a charm. You know what they call charm? Where you come from? At the first place? In my state. Okay. Uh, you know, you know what, what do they call Ogun? Ogun. Ogun. Juju, you know, um, you know, like person do charm. Yes. You don't know Juju, you don't make you know charm. What is yes. the difference between Juju and charm? But you, you understand me anyway. Yes, sir. If better you, you talk, I will deliver you because... I, I came back from Ghana, February. Forget Ghana. My There's something concerning charm. I see a wrong hand on you. My girlfriend took me to... Huh? My girlfriend took me to a place. To a place where they do charm. Huh? Yes, huh? yes sir. Talk loud. Yes, sir. No, they fear. Everybody get their own problem. Talk loud. Yo, yo, oh no, I'll just leave you there. Go. You think I know you? I only see, I see a wrong hand on you, and the wrong hand is speaking charm. He said, he said, he's now my owner. And if you are frustrated, nothing is working. Nothing is working. And there is a wrong hand on you. Yes, sir. There's a wrong hand on you. Your girlfriend take you to somewhere. Huh? Yes. He said, more go to. Uh... I, who they pay me for Ghana when I come back? It's tough to the pay. Now you carry me go place. You say, man, I go do something. I yeah. go do uh, charm. Yes. Juju. And you follow and go. Do I know you before? No, sir. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. Sit down. If you know you are here, you have charm in your house. Between now and on Sunday, bring a call church. If you don't bring that, the charm will pursue you. You can't serve God and mama. Can I tell you something? There is nothing the devil will give you that is free. It's only God that gives somebody something. When he gives you, you relax. <laughs> you're going to chop him as you like. Why? Now, Baba God gives me. <laughs> if he finish, if he never give me time, I'm going to cry. <laughs> that is, if you leave me now, where will I go? 
There's no money in my hand. I'm not broke. I know where my account is. It's not in Zinet Bank. That first bank. No. It's not there. My account is in the hand of the Almighty. Yes. So when I see that, there is how it will. If you live in now, where will I go? If you live in now, where will I stand? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You are my Put money in your account tomorrow, yeah. Put money in your account tomorrow, yeah. That is the father and the son. Hey! Stand up, pick him up for me. Pick him up for me. You, you used to walk and you don't know where your money is. Yes, sir. But get ready now. Yes, sir. Get ready now. Sir. You will not just work for your money. You are going to see favor. Amen. Celebrate grace. I will deliver you. Amen. Yeah? Yes, sir. You will change. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Move all this ring in your hand. They did not help you before. They did not kill you. Why do you look me like this? Why are you looking at me like this? Some people's mind is beating. Don't worry, I will not talk bad thing. Just that that one, the thing wants to kill him. That is why I tell him. But if you know you have that type of charm, just bring it for me. I'll destroy it. Let me tell you something about Satan. Satan have no mercy. Think he will help you. He will not help you. Have you not seen Juju Kihu de Safa? You know they know village. Our village, Juju. Eh? First when the Safa, he kill him. <laughs> and you know, there's something funny about my village. If somebody die that is not a Christian, they will carry the person put inside coffee and put it on their head. And they will begin to ask questions, what kills you? And the person will talk and the person have died. He says, look at what killed me. They will bury the person. So if from that we now know that some that served the juju will now also die there, and they will now ask the who killed he says, the same juju. Can the God I serve not kill me? No, no. Our God is not a killer like that. He does not kill those that serve him. Yeah. Your grace has found me just as I. Hey! Can I deliver you? Yeah. Do you know you need deliverance? Sir? Sir? Talk. Yes, sir. Do you know you need deliverance, sir? Yes, sir. Have you agreed that you need deliverance? You want to be free? Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. When? When will you be free? Today, sir. Today. The fellow said, no, no, no. You don't know the level of his uh, our office. He said, no, no, no. I taught you people something on uh, Sunday. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, so you like this again. Nana, Nana. Because you're very kind to understand the realm of the spirit. As you're sitting down here, not everybody is normal. Some people are sitting down, there are several sitting down in one chair. How many of you are here? It's just me, sir. Just you? Yes, sir. Okay. How many powers will I deliver you from now? Sir, I don't know. You don't even know? Him. No, sir. Okay, I'll come and check you. Doctor. Who invited you? She's the one. You? Jennifer. 
Today your first time to me. Yes. Come, let me lay hand on you. Move your slippers. Lord, deliver this girl. Lord, she says she needs deliverance. And I'm seeing it. Lord, deliver this girl. Take her there. Holy are you Lord? Yeah, you are back from London. Yeah, go London. Son did too much. Son was too much in London. Is it? The whole world has changed. We are very cold here now. Yeah. We are cold here. And then they say I have strong sun. So only for some as, as time. As I come back, I turn to black. Only for some time. They is will it? soon be cold. It's only for some time. They will soon I know it's for some time. Why is it that it was when I went to London? Because they like now, you. That was when they increased the sun. Yeah, you are welcome. How are you? I'm fine, sir. You're fine. You're sure? Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Sit down if you are if you're sure. I am your own. Listen to me, there is somebody I'm looking for that makes me to be walking around. I see somebody. They tie your leg in the dream. You are trying to escape. You discover they tie your leg in the dream. I don't know where they, I don't know where you are. But you are here. If you are the person, I would like to see you. I see somebody they tie your leg. In your revelation, they tie your leg. They say, let us see where you will go. If you are here, I want to see you because we're about to close. there is somebody here in your dream they tie your leg you are trying to yes. escape the person I want to see you first ask no use microphone to ask somebody question Papa she said she fell to sleep here where she was sitting and she saw that her legs was tied just now I don't know if I'm the one but when I'm in this yeah little sleep just take me with white cloth since that they use white cloth to, to tie, tie your leg, leg yeah Come. Celebrate Jesus. So it was revealed to you just now. My God. Angels are here. Now some of you are very kind. Of, you are waiting for something that will happen, you will laugh. You are still a baby. When your mates are seeing angels in the church, your mates are seeing their problem. In this atmosphere, you all you see is the people that are falling down. Holy Spirit of God, have you been here before? It's not your first time. Huh? Who invited you? Mr. Ben. You? Okay. Why is your money lost? Why are you losing money? Um, See? Actually, I don't uh, See? 
I don't uh, I don't lose money at all. You don't know. No. I should help you to know. Okay. There's a dimension you're about to go. Yeah? You lose an opportunity. When you lose opportunity, you lose money. Money is not... I'm not talking about somebody lost money. You're losing big money. Big money. Big money. Big opportunities. Opportunities that can change family around. But after this moment, you are going to step up into a big ring. Amen. That your envy will be very plenty than your friends. Amen. People that will jealous you will be much than people that will love you. Amen. I know you don't like this type of prayer. I love it. I love it. You say? I love it too. That is the realm you are about to enter. I don't believe you are getting set for it. Of course, I am always ready for Christ to do. Where is your, where is your wife? Uh, she's at home now. How many kids do you have now? Three. Are you ending there or you are going? Or you are going further? What? Are you ending there or you are going further? Well, we're handed there. You will are uh, trying to like, uh... yes. <clears throat> but I don't know whether I'm seeing a child. But God will go to help you. Amen. When I God don't... gives, we receive. Say, say when God gives, we receive. Good. There's a very high dimension that God is taking this man to. Amen. If you like this type of prayer, you just you just switch to his own uh, prophecy to let it like this. Uh. Amen. There's a high dimension. Sir, sir where is your passport? It's at home. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. There's a movement. There's a movement very soon, I don't know. There's a movement. You are very correct, sir. I don't live here. With passport, like you are going out. I don't know. You don't live here. No. Okay. There's a movement with passport going out of the country very soon. We are set to go back. You are, so. you are set to go back very soon. It's very soon. Very soon. Where? you are now and where you was before you came to Nigeria eh? today is the last time you see this where you are and today is the, the, the first day in your new dimension of life yes. thank you Jesus From Agbo, go. What do you have that side? My wife, uh, the father of my wife is from Agbo. Your wife is your wife is from Agbo. So eh? to say, yes. Your wife is from Agbo. The mother is from Bene. Yeah, but the, the father is from Agbo. Agbo yes. That's what I'm saying. I said from Agbo, go. You have something from Agbo, go. Correct. Your wife is from Agbo. Who is this God that knows where somebody's wife comes from? Maybe we have talked before. Not at all. I don't even know you. 
I don't even know you. I don't even know you. Get ready. It's a breakthrough. Yeah? Amen. It's a breakthrough. Very massive. When you go, don't forget the prophecy. There's a high dimension. Hallelujah. You're about to meet who you need to meet. Amen. It's going to happen too soon. Too soon. And the glory of God will come upon you. Amen. I'm looking at you as if somebody opening Bible. What do you do in church? I'm in the pastoral school. You're a pastor. Celebrate Jesus. So I'm just looking at you. I see somebody standing before people and open Bible. And you are the one opening Bible. You're a pastor. You're a pastor. You're a pastor. Yes. You're a man of God. Yes. It's not, we don't see when you wear suit. We see. We see. We see. Thank a man of God. Thank God. Is it? Hallelujah. But this is like, this is like somebody in a place where they don't speak English. I don't understand. Very correct. Correct. I'm from Austria. Austria. Celebrate Jesus. I see somebody in a place. They don't speak English, but you talk. People. There's another pastor. Of course, yes. Like, like a senior man. Yes. A senior pastor. Yes, a senior pastor. Yes. A senior pastor. There's another, there's another pastor like you in the same place. Yes, yes. I see like two, four people sitting down. They are all men of God. And one is the senior pastor. Yes. And three are under the man of God. You are correct. I'm correct. Celebrate this. Brother. There's opportunity you have lost before. The Lord said opportunity is many. Amen. Did you hear? Amen. Opportunity are many now. Amen. Uh, let me tell you so that you will, you will remember when you get there. There's opportunity of property. House. Carry on, sir. There's opportunity of property. House. I don't know how it is, but I must see somebody opportunity of property house, like somebody buy a house. I don't understand property, property house. Somebody buy a house. Get ready. Yeah? Get ready, don't, sir. Don't stop the way you are praying. Amen. And don't stop the love you have for God. Hallelujah. And your helping hand. Don't stop helping people. Amen. Yeah? Don't stop helping people. You know, people used to come to your house and oversee. They have issues. Marriage issues. <laughs> Why are you laughing? God oh, bless you, sir. <laughs> they have marriage issues here. Yeah, they come to you to talk. I want to pray one prayer for you. Huh? They will not see your, you and your wife finish. Amen. Let the love continue. So that you can be able to settle other people's love. Amen. There's a mantle on you. Hallelujah. Get ready. Let's see a new dimension. Amen. God bless you. Celebrate Jesus. I deliver you. Yes, sir. What did the man ask you to buy? He just told me my chairman, Akari, I took a crown from Ghana. So what did they ask you to buy? What did they ask you to buy? He said I should pay money. They will do midnight for me. They will do midnight for you. Night people. And I deliver you and you you change. Yes, sir. You like Jesus. I like Jesus. 
Kneel down there. Put your hand on the altar. I say, Lord, mercy. I don't want to talk about it. Come. Are you alone? Sit down. Come here. You can hear come. You just say come in your side. You just say what can they come? Sister. Where is the sister? sister? They come to visit you. For the first time, sir. Say? For the first time. Did I ask you how many times? <laughs> hey. Did you do operation before? I want to pray with you. No, sir. Huh? Put yes. your hand on your stomach. One for your belly. Me first. I cancel oppression. Amen. How many children do you have? One. Hmm? One. I cancel oppression. Amen. I cancel oppression. Amen. It takes the grace of God to deliver this one. Yes. Talk. If you don't talk, I leave you. Yes, sir. I say it takes the grace of God yes, to sir. deliver this one. Yes, sir. It was remaining small. It could have lived to CS. Yes, sir. They were already planning for it. But God helped you. I pray for the next one. Amen. At the strength of God will come upon you. Amen. Because by this time next year, that is when I'm saying this thing. I mark you for life. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Glory, glory to the Father, glory, glory to the Son, glory to the everlasting God. I break it. Look out. Go. Stand there, lift up your hand, turn around. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Stop doing guy. Turn around. Nobody's looking at you. Nobody. Just you're on your own. If you are not serious, I'll still leave you. Next. Just keep turning. Next person. Congratulations. The mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. I don't need any demon to speak. I just need them to go out. Out! Go! 
Next. Stop coming to her dream from today. Let her be in Jesus' name. Stand up. Repent so that you will not die in time. Yeah. Yes, sir. Repent. Where is your girlfriend that took you to the place? Where is she? She did Saniga. Saniga. Not the Wakasha. Ghana to Nigeria. Ghana to Saniga. You are from Imo State? Yes, sir. Him. Get out of him now. It's free. Amen. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you. There's somebody here this morning, you perceive the, the order of uh, gas in your kitchen. And somebody tells you like of some things like check things. Yes. You're the one. Celebrate Jesus. Have you checked where it's leaking? No, I think this is uh, the other woman in my the other woman in my flat. Because her in window. Near my window. How do you tell her? Her to check. The woman is not around. Hey. Tell that man to come. Where are you going? Want to answer? Eh? You want to go and answer? Come. Yeah, somebody is calling me. Is it? Yes, sir. Sit down. Did I offend you? Sit down. Yeah? There's a fight God is fighting for you. So, sit down. Good. Celebrate grace. 
yeah, when you get home, tell the woman. If she's not around, tell people that around that you are perceiving gas. Okay, sir. I see fire. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. Do you, do you hear me? Yes, sir. I see fire. Fire. Flame of fire. It will not happen. Okay. Amen. It will not happen. It will not happen. Amen. It will not happen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Oh, thank you. Leave the front of my, my altar. Go to the other side. Good. Pastor Benji, take away this thing. Lift up your hand, close your eyes. Don't stand up. Say, Lord. Throughout this month, throughout this month, let shame be far from me. Let shame be far from me. Say it again, Lord. Throughout this month, let shame be far from me. Say it again, Lord. Throughout this month. Let shame be far from me. I pray for 70 of you. Receive it. What is holding your glory? We release it by force, by force, by thunder, before intent. Amen. I see a family here. Before on the tent, I see you rejoicing with a brand new car. Amen. Shame is far from you now. Amen. Shame is far from you now. Amen. Shame is far from you now. Amen. Somebody here, I release your money. I receive it. I release your money. I receive it. As I'm concluding this service, I sign that project. Amen. If I be your man of God, I sign that breakthrough. Amen. You go out here, you enter your rest. Amen. Financial favor. Amen. Financial favor. Amen. Financial favor. Amen. This month, 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 financial favor. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. I am seeing somebody before I close. I'm seeing somebody. They are using your leg to wind generator. Somebody. From here go down. It's on, it's on fire. They are using the leg to wind generator. I don't know who the person is, but I pray. Let the generator knock engine. Amen. Let those people doing that evil in the night. Let them use their own leg. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Take an offering in your hand. Take an offering. 